What's good, YouTube? I'm back having a review for you guys, y'all. I'm gonna give you guys my review on Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. And I honestly gotta say, it's not a bad game. What? Are you sure about that? I know this game been getting a lot of hate. People are hating the game. People saying, why is this a live service game? And a lot of people are upset about why is this in the Batman Arkham universe? So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I agree with people. Because why set this in the Arkham universe? I thought the Arkham universe was done. They didn't want to mess with it no more after Kevin Conroy's death. Rest in peace to Kevin Conroy, which is one of the best Batman voice actors, okay? This is set five years after Batman Arkham Knight. So if Batman disappears, then five years later, he comes to join the Justice League, which I thought was really weird. I thought he joined the Justice League way before then but he didn't end up doing that. He did it five years later. Gameplay wise, it's fantastic. I think, you know, the movement of different characters that you use, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, King Shot, Boomerang, they're all unique to your own little, you know, characters. And I've been messing it up with Harley Quinn because Harley Quinn, that's my girl, okay? I've been messing up with her. Uh, she ended up getting Batman's, you know, grapple gun, and he, she ended up using a lot of Batman's uh, tools. And to me personally, Harley Quinn, I actually think she was badass in here. Uh, what I gotta say about the story? Come on, man. There's certain holes in the story that doesn't make any sense. Um, the way you kill Green Lantern, I think it was odd that when you killed him. You end up taking his finger off. And then when you take his finger, he has the, the Green Lantern ring. Now, what I read in comics, that you can't really take off his ring and then put it on you. You have to be chosen. The ring has to choose you to order to get Green Lantern's powers. But when you end up killing him, King Shark ends up taking his ring and putting it on him. I'm like, man, that's a that don't seem right. That don't seem right at all. But it was cool seeing Jon Stewart's Green Lantern, you know, in this game. I didn't particularly wish they killed them. That I feel like they could have saved them, but they end up killing mostly half of the Justice League. I think there was a couple of moments that was mad disrespectful that you know Suicide Squad did. Uh, the way you killed Barry and then you know Boomerang ended up pissing on him. I was like, man, come on, man, come on, man. That's mad disrespectful. Um, I think the one moment of the game that was had everybody the internet almost damn near broke after harley quinn kills batman yes she ends up killing batman it was the most disappointing hard thing to see out of this game get some new material jerk off you know joker used to be real good at hurting people with words but you well even when you're evil, you're still too good. Why are you crying? <laughs> and it just it just showed you how much Rocksteady did not give a fuck and, and I think they just didn't care and they showed mad disrespect to Kevin Conroy and to the Arkham Batman. And I felt like, man, that was just disrespectful how y'all just killed him. He, they shot him on a park bench. And I, come on, man, that's, that shows so much disrespect. We played Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, and Batman Arkham Knight. We love those games, okay? Fantastic games. And to have Batman get killed by Harley Quinn on a bench, it, it gave me PTSD. Y'all remember when we saw Joel died? That still hurts, still hurts me, I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, there was a lot of holes into the story, but gameplay wise, I thought it was great, okay? Uh, you set in Metropolis and we're hometown of Superman. And I thought to myself, Superman boss fight should have been a little bit more difficult. Uh, it really wasn't, it, it, it really wasn't. Uh, I think the most disappointing boss fight was Batman's. You know, you're just sitting on a platform on a back symbol, just shooting him. That's that was about it. I was like, that, uh, I could have did that ten times better than anybody else, but they end up doing something like that. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, they downplayed Harley Quinn's ass. 
if you go back into Batman Arkham Knight and you go to Harley Quinn's little uh, little game mode, she had ass. She had ass. And then you come to Suicide Squad Kids of Justice League, I'm like, what the fuck happened to her ass? What did, what did they do? Okay? Okay? That's why I like Harley Quinn. She had ass. And she was a freak. But other than that, I think it was okay. The rating I give for this game, 7 out of 10. Damn! Okay, the story to me was, it had so many holes to it. Um, the gameplay wise was good, fantastic to me. Oh, Harley Quinn was really badass as my main character that I will use over and over again. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.